Hi guys, welcome along. In today's video, I'm going to give you five top tips to keep you motivated and moving when the temperature drops. I'm Tony James, so let's get into cold weather running right now. First thing first, layers are your best friend. So start off with a base layer made of a wicking material, uh, you know, a material that will draw the sweat away from your skin. Add on top of that an insulating layer to keep you warm. And finally, an outer layer to protect you from those elements that's windproof and waterproof. You could always take layers off if you get too warm, but once you're cold, it's very hard to get yourself warmed up again. So if you get yourself layered up, you're more than ready to tackle any surprises that the weather may throw at you whilst you're out on your run. Second is those extremities. Don't forget to keep them warm. Invest in a good pair of gloves, a running buff, a hat or headband, and a good pair of running socks as well to keep your feet warm. One of the things to remember is a significant amount of your body heat is actually lost through your head. So make sure you do cover it up if you can. So get that hat, get that running headband, anything that can just insulate the top of your head. So basically cover up to stay warm. So once you've got your gloves, your hat, your running buff, you will look stylish and you'll be ready to tackle your winter run. Tip number three, choose the right footwear. So let's talk about the feet. One thing that really does annoy me is getting wet feet. So cold, wet feet really puts me off my running. So think about getting a good pair of sturdy running socks, waterproof if possible, that will really help. But also think about which shoes you're wearing. Are you wearing the right shoe for the conditions? Are you wearing something like the Adidas Adios Pro Original that's got absolutely no traction on it whatsoever, no tread? Or do you choose something with a lot better grip uh, for those conditions out there? If it's frosty, if it's icy, don't be running on ice. Please don't run on ice, it's far too dangerous. No run is worth putting yourself at risk like that. So be careful, choose the right footwear. Make sure you have plenty of traction underneath your feet. And not only the traction, but make sure they're breathable. And if you can get a, pair, a good pair of waterproof running shoes, that might be good for you as well, especially if you're out there running on the trails or those muddy paths that you could come across during a park run. So remember, whatever terrain you're running on, please choose the best shoe for that terrain. We don't want any slips, trips or falls. Tip number four, an effective warm up. I don't know why we're putting this uh, at number four. I think this should be number one. Always warm up properly before you go for a run. When it's minus temperatures out there, don't just get out of your nice warm car and lace up your shoes and go for a run. That is a recipe for getting a running injury. So please don't do that. Do an effective warm up. Light jogging, dynamic stretching. Just get those muscles ready to work during that main session. So get out there, get the muscles warmed up, get them ready to work hard in that main session, get the blood flowing, raise that heart rate as well. So remember, an effective warm up will not only reduce the chance of you picking up a running injury, but it will also mean you perform better during your main session. So do that warm up, trust me, your body will thank you later. Finally, the fifth tip, stay hydrated. We all know about drinking water and electrolytes and stuff whilst we're running in hot weather, but it's also the same during cold conditions. It's easy to forget to drink when it's cold outside, but your body still needs to take on that water. You are still sweating it out. You still need to stay hydrated. So you'll lose a lot of moisture with your respiration. You know, when you're breathing out, you can see the moisture going. So we're still losing moisture. So make sure you stay hydrated before during and after your run. So keep a bottle of water with you and stay on top of your hydration game no matter what the weather conditions are. So there you go, there's five top tips for running in cold weather. Just remember with the right gear, preparation and mindset, you can tackle those winter miles and stay on top of your training goals. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, it'll help the channel grow immensely. Don't forget to hit subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you find out every time I upload new running videos. More top tips and advice coming your way very soon, but don't go anywhere. Go and click this and see how I did recently in the Chicago Marathon. <laughs>